Good morning. According to the FBI, every 26 seconds a violent crime is committed here in America. And when a crime is committed, there is a cost. And every year, that cost goes up. In part one of our week-long series, The Cost of Crime, we take a look at how much money some of the largest police departments in the country has uh, to actually fight crime. And why one economist says the cost of crime in America is nearly $5 trillion. In the nation's largest city, the NYPD is the first line of defense. The department, comprised of more than 30,000 active duty police officers, is one of the leading law enforcement agencies in the world. All of our public safety efforts are coordinated, decisive, and focused on the singular aim of making our community safer. They do it using top-tier training and cutting-edge technology and a small army of police officers trying to maintain law and order on some of the toughest streets in America. The department has an $11 billion budget. $5 billion is used for operating costs like crime fighting. But on the streets, sometimes this city of big buildings and bright lights can feel like a real dark and dangerous place. It's worse today than it ever was. Never yes, was. it is. They got to implement the old way. They got the officers and walk in, they beat. So far this year, shootings and murders are down in the city. But crimes like burglary, larceny, and robbery are up. Crimes that keep the police busy and cost the community money. There's an economic cost. If your home is burglarized, what have you lost? Pat Lynch is president of the Police Benevolent Association, the union representing 24,000 NYPD officers. He says crime is costing the NYPD through attrition. The long hours and short pay is driving officers away. And he says the revolving door of justice now swings in the favor of perpetrators, leaving officers feeling like their sworn duty to protect and serve is meaningless. We'll arrest someone. They will come back with their property voucher before we're finished processing uh, the paperwork. What does that mean? Those criminals aren't going out and going to church. 3,000 miles to the west in Los Angeles, council members have approved a near $12 billion budget for the city's 2022-23 fiscal year. Inside the budget, an $87 million increase in funding for the LAPD, taking the department's operating budget to $1.9 billion. And in the Midwest, Chicago, a city with the second largest police department in the country, the mayor has proposed giving the department a $1.9 billion operating budget for 2023. The nation's three largest police departments now spending more than $15 billion to fight crime. Yet the overall crime rate in each of those cities remains high. I think that there are a number of reasons why the cost of crime is very important to look at. David Anderson, a professor of economics at Center College in Kentucky, has studied the cost of crime for more than 20 years. His most recent published research revealing the total cost of crime in the U.S., including law enforcement, criminal justice, victims' losses, even fear and agony, is estimated to cost the country close to $5 trillion. I would say that the direct cost to taxpayers is just over a trillion dollars per year. Uh, that's not including the, the other repercussions, the opportunity costs, the transfers, uh, things like that. Anderson says the only other expenditures in the country that comes close to the cost of crime is the annual cost of health care at 3.8 trillion and 2.7 trillion spent on food and shelter. Consider this, a team of researchers at Vanderbilt University estimated the cost of crime in 2017 was 2.6 trillion. In 2022, the cost has nearly doubled. Republican, Democrat, liberal or conservative, almost everyone pays for the cost of crime in the U.S. And economists say the cost of crime can go down and one way is by investing more heavily in the community with crime prevention and also by providing jobs. Kelly. Trey, such an eye-opening report. Do we have a breakdown of how much crime is costing every single American, perhaps? Yeah, it's worth repeating. At the end of my piece there, I mentioned that study from Vanderbilt University. That was in 2017. At that time, a team of researchers estimated the cost of crime in America was $2.6 trillion. Direct cost to the to American taxpayers was around 620 billion, which breaks down to 1,900 dollars for every American. Now, fast forward five years later, and that cost has doubled. So now we're talking about almost 3,000 dollars for every American goes towards the cost of crime here in this country. Kelly.
Wow, Trey. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.